This guide will walk you through the process of setting up FactSet Access for the first time. FactSet provides analytic tools and financial and economics data on public and private companies and their debt issues, private equity and venture capital firms and funds, macroeconomic series, ownership details, and people data. As an IU Southeast School of Business student, you can either use the desktop version of FactSet or the web version called FactSet Connect. To set up access for the first time to FactSet, you'll need to create an account with them first. You should have received an email to your IUS email address with your FactSet ID and the URL to register for an account with them. The URL in your email will take you to the FactSet registration page where you'll need to enter in your FactSet ID found in your email and register for an account. Note that your FactSet ID is typically your first name followed by a period, then your last name, at factset.net. After you clicked on register, an email should be sent to your IUS email with a passcode, which you'll need to finish registration and create a FactSet password. Back in your IUS email, go ahead and copy the passcode you see from FactSet. Back in FactSet, you'll need to paste or type in the passcode from your email and then create a password. You won't need the passcode again to access FactSet. Note that passwords must be at least eight characters and include one uppercase, one lowercase, and one number. Once you've registered and created a FactSet password, you have the option of downloading FactSet onto your computer or using the web version. For the web version, you'll need to make sure the Citrix client application is installed on your computer. If not, you can download Citrix from the screen if it's not already installed. To access the online version of FactSet, click on the launch link under FactSet Connect. If you don't have Citrix downloaded onto your computer, you can follow the prompts to download it. If FactSet Connect does not automatically launch, you can download the Citrix application based on the type of computer that you're using. Save the Citrix application file to your computer and then open the file in your downloads folder. Click on install and let Citrix run through its installation processes. After the installation is complete, click on finish and return to the browser with FactSet Connect. Once Citrix has been installed, go back to FactSet and either click on relaunch or launch to um, start the program. If you get a server error, make sure that you allow launch.factset.com to run the Citrix ICA client. It may take a few minutes for FactSet Connect to actually load onto your computer. You will need to allow FactSet to access files on your computer before you can actually use it. Once FactSet is launched, you'll have to accept their license agreement which is basically requiring you to agree that you will not share your password with anyone else. Once you've agreed to their license, FactSet should start automatically, as seen here. If you have any questions about setting up FactSet for the first time, feel free to contact me. My information is on the screen.